You go now. Hold there. Oh, please. Hey. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, uh, we're chilling. And every time we've got a cup of tea, you need to know we're chilling and I want us to have a little bit of a talk. Um, so I've been on social media for a very long time. I mean, what's new, right? Uh, I've been on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I, uh, yeah, seen it all when it comes to social media, know how to navigate around social media. But one thing that I've picked up that and I've read a couple of articles on is social media and body image. Now, because this is a channel where I am a female and I love to talk about female um, issues. I like to talk to the woman and I like to, you know, talk about issues surrounding us. I like to talk about things that celebrate us. Body image is one of those things that every single woman either goes through or struggles with or celebrates or appreciates or, or, or just it's, 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 it's just a whirlwind of emotions and every woman goes through it at some point of your life. Body image includes so many things. Social media has played a fundamental part as to how many women see themselves and their body and their body image and that's what we're going to talk about today i feel like i've been talking for two minutes I, I, i'm already into it um so let's get into it so the deal here is i see this a lot and i follow a lot of being older now i follow accounts that that celebrate women i follow accounts that um you know, celebrate women of different sizes. I follow accounts that, um, you know, appreciate and embody and um, um, just just look at the body of the woman with celebration and awe and um, just, you know, sass and like everybody, everybody, like in the literal sense, everybody is a great body. Those are the kinds of accounts that I follow now, if at all I am following any of those accounts. Um, but for me growing up, social media wasn't a thing. You know, Facebook and MySpace and Twitter and, 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 and Instagram and what all of that stuff happened for me became a relevant thing when I was in university going up. So when I'm talking about university, I'm talking about even the basic things like university meant Facebook and it meant um, uh, MySpace and all of that. And then as time went and progressed and all of that, there was uh, uh, um, Instagram and Twitter and all these other platforms, social media platforms. And that's a great thing. That is That is cool. But what I felt that came with social media um, is it put a lot of emphasis and put a lot of spotlight on the body especially when it comes to women um, it just you know started praising different types of bodies but more so there was a large influence on you know your body needs to look a certain way for it to be hailed as a beautiful body and um for that it's different now but in the beginning that wasn't it that wasn't what it was and i feel like it is um it's so detrimental um that social media has not only encouraged negative thoughts for many women when looking at different women's bodies and how they look on instagram like you know the 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 uh, brazilian booty lift people the bbls and the the bbws and how skinny was now a thing and now uh big booty is now a thing for me growing up i've always felt that my body was fine i've never thought that and i'm talking about high school and um yes i may have struggled with things like weight issues where i felt like mm, I was a little bit on the chubby side however it wasn't seen as a bad thing like being a little bit on the chubby side as a bad thing it wasn't only when i hit university and i started exposing myself to different parts of social media was when i started critiquing my body a lot more and i feel like 
as much as social media is now very diverse in which you can choose what you consume this is the best part of social media that you can choose that this is not for me this is hampering how i feel about my body this is making me see my body in a negative light this is not making me feel happy about how i feel about my body so i'm not going to consume it unfollow unsubscribe and whatever but there's also that other side where you will see like like pages like the explore page on Instagram. You can't control the explore page, right? But it is uh, done in such a way that it 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 shows you what you would like to see based on the accounts that you follow, right? So um, my point here is I grew up with my weight not never really being a thing or my body never really being a thing whether i'm this or that or chubby or uh, not chubby or what have you but only when i got to varsity i started really really critiquing how i look and i started really really comparing i started comparing what i see on social media to my body and started feeling like okay that is actually how i should be looking to be seen as attractive um so you need to have the boobs and i was like okay i have that but then you need to have a certain frame and i was just like mm, my thighs are too thick like i would see certain pictures and what have you and that would make me feel like okay my thighs are a little bit too thick and you know it 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 makes you feel some certain type of way. This is the detrimental part of social media because to somebody who is not uh, confident in who they are and is easily pressured by what they see online to a woman who isn't just, who just maybe is new to social media and now they are bombarded with all of this and they easily succumb to the pressure of this is how you need to look to be justified as um this is how you need to look to be praised and hailed as beautiful and sexy and what have you that destroys self-confidence i feel like social media can be bad and social media can be good but over time more variety and different types of bodies was were being praised and uh different types of bodies were celebrated and different types of bodies were looked at with um you know like light in the eyes as opposed to looked at with disdain and disgust um there are some great accounts where you follow body positive um you know accounts where you follow body poverty po Positive, <laughs> body positive movements which celebrate different types of bodies but they're also i feel like choosing how to consume social media is so so important in the sense that you need to be aware of what is what is good for your mental health because when it comes to body image social media has a really great knack and a great way of making you feel really crappy about your body making you feel really just just unhappy about how you look with it, like within your body but if you actively choose to consume content you want to see and stay away from the content that makes you feel negative about how you look then social media can be a great platform can be a great um uh um space in which you can meet new people it can be a great space in which you can learn different ideas and different um what what good clothes would work for your body type um you know all these these amazing things that social media can give you but I before you can you know love social media and enjoy it and consume it to your enjoyment i feel like you have to be quite confident in who you are and quite aware of yourself in terms of self-love and in terms of um knowing that it, it no picture will make you feel a certain way about your body you need to be um on a different playing field mentally if you're going to consume social media in a positive light and not have it um 
destroy your self-confidence and not have it, you know, kill your vibe, as they say. For some odd reason, I felt like I really wanted to talk about this topic because it is really, really hard. And there was this one study that was done where um, people were assigned to have social media friends and those friends were typically um, much prettier than the people that this test was being done on. And when the results came back, it showed that the people felt considerably much more negative about themselves and their bodies when being around the, you know, the pretty and seeing the prettier friends and being around the prettier friends and what have you, it came back and they felt more negatively about their bodies. And I was just like in shock because on social media, everything seems perfect. On social media, you're looking at your influences and you're just like, dang. <laughs> You, you know, they dress so pretty, their bodies are banging, and you're just thinking to yourself, I don't look anything like this. And if you aren't um, fully confident in who you are, it doesn't really take much for things like that to consume everything about your time and how you think about your body. It consumes everything about how you think about your body. And I feel like... Um, it's just making that a cognizant choice that I am not going to follow the BBLs and I'm not going to follow blah, blah, blah. For me, I want to follow the normal, the everyday woman, the woman who I see myself in and, um, and she's confident and she's great and blah, blah, blah. That person will motivate you to love your body even more because they love their body even more and they look great and they feel great. And I feel like that is where, you know, we need to draw the line. Social media has its good and it's got its bad. And I feel like you can control how much of the bad you would like to consume. Um, where if at all you want to consume any of it. I feel like if you can actively make that choice that I am not going to follow accounts that are going to demean me or body types like mine or make me feel negatively about my body or make me feel a certain way about my body, if you can actively choose to be so cognizant of it that even when you see it, you're just like, unfollow, unsubscribe, and whatever, that you know that it's not going to affect you um, um, uh, negatively in any way. In actual fact, you're going to continue living your life following the right accounts, the accounts that are meant for someone like you and accounts that celebrate body types like yours. I don't know. I just feel like I really wanted to have a quick chat about this. Uh, because I've been filming all day today and I thought, mm, let me just throw it in there. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a real talk video, which I haven't really done in a long time. And I feel like real talk videos are great as well. They've always been great. Um, let me know, what are your thoughts on social media and body image? What have you seen? My leg is going to sleep. What have you seen? What have you encountered? Have you actively made that choice that I am not going to do this? I am going to follow what is best for me. I am going to follow what I love, my interests. If I love makeup, I'm going to follow a makeup artist who does strictly makeup. If I love home decor, I'm going to follow home decor um, businesses or um, uh, content creators who focus on home decor. How do you structure your social media to benefit you and not uh, in any way make you feel unworthy and um, not enough, really. How do you do it? Let me know. Let's have a chat about it. I would really love to know. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.